an issue with it. However, do you see rap music and spoken word poetry as interchangeable? I mean, it's, Hell no. it's with Lil Wayne. <laughs> but, and I guess what I'm saying is that is what he's is he just doing poetry? Wayne? Yeah, or any, any rapper for that matter. Well, I mean, poetry in and of itself is such a big umbrella term. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I would consider hip hop to be poetry. And I would consider spoken word to be poetry. But I would not consider hip hop to be spoken word. I mean, poetry is a, is a really big umbrella term. A lot of song, a lot of, uh, of the songs I've heard in my life, I would consider poetry. You know, I mean, Prince's Little Red Corvette, he's working the hell out of a metaphor. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I, at least, unless he was talking about a car, because I think. <laughs> okay, so, so I mean, poetry is a really big umbrella term. So yeah, I think what Wayne or Eminem or you know some of the people do is definitely poetry, you know, but it's not spoken word. Um, spoken word has been around for a long time. Um, so Claude McKay, uh, back in the Harlem Renaissance was probably one of the first people who, who was very well known for like preferring to, to speak his poems than just you know, have you read them. And he's also credited with you know, some of the first uh, rhythmic presentations of poems. And he's, a, he's from the islands. You know? um, it's been around, spoken word's been around for a while. You know? So, I mean, and long before the Renaissance, I mean, it obviously it came before even slavery. But after the Renaissance, after the Harlem Renaissance, um, you had all you had different poetry movements, you know. You had um, you had the in like this is the fifties. You had like, the beat poets in the sixties. You had uh, well in the late sixties. So after Malcolm X died, particularly, so after sixty five, you had the Black Arts Movement and Mary Baraka. Um, after that, you had in the seventies, starting from about sixty eight uh, in, into the seventies, you had Bill Scott Heron, the Watts Prophets. Uh, the, the Last Poets, you know. Um, and Gil Scott Heron and The Last Poets were, well, they were from, not from, but they were based in Harlem. And Gil Scott Heron was based kind of Harlem, like uptown Harlem, Bronx, uptown New York, Bronx. And as you know, they, they came out with these records in the 70s, like the Last Poets 68, Gil Scott's record came out in the 70s. As you know, hip hop came in that same area around that same time. So Cool Herc, who was also from the West Indies, was the one that came kind of with the mixing, you know, the, the spinning the records. But the poetry itself that, that accompanied the records came about in the same area and around the same time period that Gil Scott Heron and the last poets got big. So I say all that to say that spoken word kind of generated, you know, the hip hop. It was the, the father to hip hop. But in my generation of spoken word, it's like, it's like a cycle because I came up listening to hip hop, right? So the way I often dress, the way a lot of my uh, peers dress, the way we talk, the slang that I use is hip hop. So hip hop in the late 70s, the mid to late 70s came out of the Bronx and Harlem from the spoken word movement. And then spoken word, as we know today, is very hip hop influenced. I mean, what else did I grow up off of, you know? When I could sit here and talk hip hop to you, well, I, could, I could do old people's raps. <laughs> Going back to like Slick Rick and, and Rock Him, I could like do the whole thing. You know? Do it. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, what else? You know, it's, it's the cycle. So there's that connection. The hip hop came from the spoken word. Our generation's spoken word is influenced heavily by hip hop, but they're not the same, in my opinion. And I, I had this conversation in a, in a panel that I did with the last poets, and they were upset because they felt like I was dividing something that shouldn't be. But just so you know what I'm telling you, I mean, what I'm explaining, hip hop as a poetic form has structure. It's not always rigid. Uh, it, it became less rigid with, I think, run. I mean, because it's like, uh, Kumo D and all of them, I mean, it was kind of rigid. I mean, it's, and Run DMC and them was rigid. But run was the first person, like, you know, the three is who we be and then I have and what I have. You know, like, that was like, he, he started, but I, I imagine Ron kind of was like the father of like that whole flow thing. You know, just when, when people start flowing on it. Rakim perfected it. Yeah. You know, Rakim was the person that, on his first record, he said, um, turn up the bass, check out my melody, hand out a cigar. Like, so, you know, we saw my birth, like when you're giving birth and the men are out there handing out cigars. So turn up the bass, check out my melody, hand out a cigar. 
I'm letting knowledge be born. And my name is the R. A-K-I-M, not like the rest of them. I'm not on the list of what I'm saying. I design like a scientist. And the thing is, we didn't even know you could do that. Like, how, how is it that he could start spelling a word at the end of one line and continue spelling it at the beginning of the other? My name is the R. A-K-I-M, not like, you know what I mean? He started like, you know, do things like, just because of applause, I have the pause. And then stop. And then be like, right after tonight, like, did he just pause? <laughs> so, you know, he started like, he took us into a different place in terms of, of that. And Wayne and Eminem particularly today, do, like, they, they do have an interest in flows. They don't always rhyme. You know what I mean? If you ever notice, Wayne and Eminem don't always rhyme. They, they, they have real slick things with, with their flows. So it's definitely poet, you know, poetry. But still, no matter how much you flow in hip hop, there's a time, you know? And normally, if you play a hip hop record, any hip hop record a cappella, you can put a beat to it. I mean, there is no hip hop record that you can play a cappella and not put a beat to it. And if any MC ever <laughs> that you know of uh, got up and started rapping, somebody could come up here who could beatbox or, or drum and just catch on to what they're doing, because there's a beat. Spoken word isn't like that. So hip hop is like a drum. You know, there is a cadence. Most, usually it's four four time. Usually it's, you know, you know, it's, it's four four time usually. But you can switch it up and still you can put a beat to it. Spoken word is not like that. Spoken word, unlike a drum, is like a flute. Spoken word is such that I can play any poet, you can throw the beat on anywhere, and it doesn't matter because the words just flow that way. You don't, there is no beat. You can't snap your fingers most of the time. But hip hop, if you throw the beat on at the wrong time, it sounds wrong. You'll feel it. Spoken words not like that. That's the difference. 